Okay, what is up, everybody? It is a brand new day. <sighs> that wasn't even my intro. Redo. Well, hey there, friendships. Welcome back to Curtis's Corner. If you are new here, hi, I'm Curtis. This is my corner. On today's video, this is part two from my unboxing video that I just put out on Thursday. If you have not seen that video, you can go ahead and click right up at the top of the screen there because I'm going to show you all of the products that I received in some boxes and I'm going to play around with some of said items that I have prepackaged into this box right here. We're going to do some reviews. We're going to do some tutorials. We're going to play around and um, just enjoy life. So if you're interested to see the look that I come up with and hear my final thoughts on all of these products, then stay tuned. Roll intro. Okay, okay. So, first things that I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer. Now, it's very rosy smelling. I have smelled this already. I'm not a big fan of rose. I can already smell it through without even like opening it. Ooh, I'm actually going to take out my my mirror first. I'm choosing to use the mirror that I got in the mystery box. And it is the Soft Touch Hi Me Chocolate Mirror because it is beautiful. It's beautiful. And that's all I have to say about it. Like, how can you not love this? Look, I just wanna, oh, I wanna eat it. Okay, take, it feels thick. It's very, very gelatinous feeling. It's also extremely cold. Not entirely sure what this formula is supposed to do for my skin mm. it does feel refreshing though it's going on nice and smooth it's not sticky though it's it feels it feels very hydrating um nothing is in english so that's fun <laughs> so yeah i don't actually know what this is supposed to do except for probably hydrate i despise all of this by the way this redness is the one thing i hate when i shave okay color correction is on i look crazy but that's okay it is what it is now the next thing i'm going to try i'm very very excited for i really hope it's my shade it should be this is the kvd vegan beauty good apple skin perfecting foundation balm this is in the shade medium 27 it looks like this if you've never seen it before there's no scent to it but like this is what it looks like here it looks like it's going to be a relatively decent match and i know I've, I've been really into using a brush to apply my foundation lately so that's what i'm going to do as well is use a brush so i'm going to the good thing about this as well i just want to say before i apply this the packaging Everything about this is completely recyclable. So when it's empty, you just go, recycle, bye. So that's awesome. I will say I agree with Jeffree Star with his review and that the packaging for how much it is could be better. But if you were going for this, you could have put the price lower in my opinion as well. But anyways, I'm just going to do like a little swirly swirl around here. As you can see, that's what it looks like after swirling into the pan. And I'm just going to... Oh, that is 100% full coverage. Yep. Mm. This looks like it's going to be too light. I should have gone darker. That's interesting. I did not think that this would have been too dark or too light. Mm. Wow. I mean, again, the... Finish on it is literally insane. Like, pigmentation in my face. Where are you? The pigment in this foundation is, is real, ma'am. It is, it is so real that it's not even funny. I also agree a lot 
with all the other reviews that I've seen just through TikTok and whatnot, is that it does feel like I'm wearing nothing. Like, it literally feels like my skin, which is awesome. I'm literally just like a quick dab and then that's insane. The coverage with just a quick dab. How are you doing this? What is this formula? The dewiness of my skin as well is absolutely outrageous. I love it. I'm just going to pat it in. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to just quickly go through with this just to really buff it out and set it right into place. Everything seems really good. Laid down. It went on wonderfully. I love it. I get, that looks bomb. That looks bomb AF. Okay, I'm gonna go in with some JSC. Okay, next item we're going in with is the KVD Vegan Beauty Locket Setting Powder. Does this come with a little puff? I don't know if it comes with a puff. Oh, it comes with a cute little beanchy puff. I'm saying beanchy because of Manny. Look at that, that's so cute. Tippy tab in there. Right, setting the under eyes with this. All right, well, it's setting it. It set the under eyes really nicely, actually. The nose is a different story, but the under eyes are actually set really, really nicely. Powder seems really nice. I do kind of wish I got the bigger one, but I just didn't, I couldn't afford it. But it seems really nice. It's setting it nicely. Like my face, my face is set. Everything about my face is set right now. So that's good. Um, I like it. It's nice. Okay. Bronze and blush are going to be off camera and I will return to do the highlighter. So BRB. Alrighty, we are back. Everything's all on. We're dipping into the Supreme Frost by Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade Frozen Peach. That's what it looks like right there. It is beautiful. I cannot wait to try this. Do we see the glow? I think we do. It looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. I love it. It is, so this one, I am actually a little bit surprised. While it's very pretty and I really enjoy it a lot, it's very much more, hated that. It's very much more of a, like a glitter formula rather than an actual like highlighter, highlighter. Um, like Money Honey was way more reflective, I found, than this. This is very much more of a glitter type of formula. I don't hate it. I have a glitter highlighter from Selena Spooky Boo, so I do like them. But it is not what I was actually expecting. I was expecting it to be like how Money Honey was. I'm just checking up the foundation right now. Everything still seems really, really nice. I will say it does seem like it's settling in a little bit more. And my eyes are creasing, but that could be the concealer. That could be... I don't know, the powder I used, I'm not entirely sure. Does my neck look fine? My neck looks fine. Forehead always creases, so that's nothing new. All right, moving on. How are my eyebrows today? Are my eyebrows good? Uh, I mean, they could be better, but yeah, I think my eyebrows are fine today. So, not, we're going to skip eyebrows. <coughs> we're going to try the new Morphe Eyelid Primer. This is in translucent. So we're just gonna pop that over there. I'm gonna do one eye on camera and then I'll do the other one off camera and I'll come back to finish up the look. We're gonna put this on the lid and we're going to blend it out. All right, let's see. Okay, that's wet. It's wet and it's in my eye. Wow, Morphe trying to blind me. I'm gonna shake it up. Shush. Oh, it kinda burns. Because, um, like I said, went in my eye. Woo! Okay, let's try this again. I mean, it's still pretty slimy looking. But it's now on the lid. Doing its job. 
I think. Maybe, we'll see. Add a little tiny bit more, just to really be on the safe side here. I think that's pretty good. So it has been applied. Um, first impressions, I hated that I was almost blinded, but okay. <laughs> I'm gonna dip into my brushes here now. All oh, brand new brushes. So first we're gonna dip into the LBE brush one and into our Strawberry Dream palette. Open please, get out please. Which again, looks like this if you have not seen it from the last video because you decided, I don't wanna watch an unboxing, I wanna just see the look. Well, here it is, it's beautiful. Now, okay, I'm going, it is starting to crease. So I really gotta hurry. I'm gonna dip into the shade Cloudy which is this soft little pink moment over there. This is gonna go all up in the crease. If you've never tried a Lunar Beauty uh, palette before, you're missing out, because they are really wonderful. Okay. So this is gonna go right into my crease. It's gonna be very, very subtle. I know that because it's a super, super light color. Oh, it's actually showing up. It's showing up nicely. That, I'm actually surprised. I was expecting it to, I'd have to layer it a few times before it starts kind of showing because it is such a light shade. But, Manny, you are not playing games, girl. All right, I'm here. Also, this brush, it is like the perfect size for a crease. Oh my Lord. This is wonderful. Manny, loving. I'm gonna need you to come out with some face brushes now too, though. Look at that. Look how easily this just applied all over with this brush. <gasps> Love. Okay, LBE2 brush. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna deepen up that crease a little bit with, I'm gonna go in with Sunset here. That's this shade. And that's gonna go slightly lower down onto the crease. You know what, I'm really feeling a pink eye moment today, so that's what we're gonna do. Oof, oof. Oh my God, do you see the pigmentation? Oh my God. Yes, just gonna go back into cloudy. Just to run it through here and really blend the two together. Like, I'm sorry, are you kidding me? That looks stunning. Outer corner, outer corner, I'm gonna be putting uh, Strawberry Moon and then deepening it up with a bit of Storm Cloud. Uh, so I'm gonna use a LBE3. First, Strawberry Moon. I'm just gonna pack it on right here. Nothing too crazy. Slight smokiness. Hell yeah, girl. Do you see that? Oh my God. Okay, and then I'm just gonna lightly, lightly, lightly dip into storm cloud just to add ever so slightly that dimension and then go back in with strawberry moon and layer it over and just blend it all out. Oh, oh, okay. I wanna test this on my LBE5. Mm -hmm. It's a nice flat packer brush. We're gonna dip into the shade Ruby Skies. That's this one right up here in the middle. And this is gonna go all over the lid. I'm testing it out dry first because bitch, you need to test dry formulas and see how they're gonna be. Oh, oh, yep. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, Manny, you made such a nice, oh. You know what? I don't even want to like enhance it even more than it is. It is already so stunning that I don't even think I need to, to be honest. 
Like, it's just, it's almost like it's perfect. I mean, how can you not love that? My skin is looking really nice with this foundation, too. <gasps> love. Okay. Uh, Lower lash line. We're going to go in with an LBE6. We're going to do pink flash all along the bottom. And we're going to tie in with the strawberry moon just to kind of mix it all together. But we're going to go in with pink flash first. It's nice, hot, neon pink. And it's, again, perfect size just to get right along that waterline. These brushes, I love these brushes. These brushes are so good. Wow. Okay. Gonna go back in with Strawberry Moon and Storm Cloud, a mixture of the two. Really tap it off and just. Now I know there's gonna be some gap right here because my eye, since having the liquid of the eyeshadow primer go into my eye it has been teary the entire time i also want to point out that there's like zero fallout on my skin like at all it is amazing on my lbe7 i do want to add a hint of blue i think so i'm going to go in with the shade blue diamond right here it is a white but it has a duochrome of like a, a pink and blue kind of shift. So that's going to go as my inner corner and my brow highlight. There we go. All right. That is one eye all complete. I'm going to replicate this eye on the other side. Add some mascara and I will be right back to finish off this look. So stay tuned, bitches. Okay. I am back. Everything is all applied. I messed up a little bit, but you know what? With the mascara being on, it kind of goes well. I also added my little, my little Gemini. My hair is a mess. We're just going to put this back on. Yes, we will, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. This little thing. Oh, so cute. Milk. Look how freaking adorable. Oh my God. I love it. If I were to ever get a little Gemini tattoo, I think I would want it there. That's cute AF. Okay. Now last products i'm going to try i already know i love the formula of all of these so i'm just gonna quickly do them off camera i just wanted to show you my little look um but yeah so i'm going in with shade mannequin in the liner christmas cookie in the liquid lip and let me be perfectly clear in the gloss so i'm going to do that really quickly and uh yeah, it's a lot lighter than I expected, actually. This lip color is everything. Oh my lord, okay. All right. So, this is the look all complete. I chose actually not to put on some lashes. I was going to, but I wanted to give... So I wanted to put some lashes on, but then I chose not to because I was like, you know what, I'm going to give the mascara, the uh, Jeffree Star mascara, its little moment on these eyes and I think it looks absolutely stunning. I still can't get over this. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. My review. The foundation. The foundation looks so good. Like it looks so good. Like we're going to ignore the creasing up here because this is just my forehead that does this. It happens with every single mascara. Uh, mascara. Wow. Foundation. Um, but I highly, highly approve of this foundation it is beautiful if you have not received it try and get it it is hard to come by the setting powder i'll have to try again i'm not entirely sure this highlighter is all right it did its job it just did not it didn't do what i expected it to do because i was expecting a different outcome the primer is okay i mean it's not like it ruined the foundation or anything underneath um maybe it was under eye i don't know but okay um we know we i love the stamp the stamp is everything the brushes the brushes the brushes are yes everything about it is yes the palette i mean how can you not love this palette do you see this look that i've created holy wow eyelid primer i loved blinding aside it adhered nicely to the skin it uh made no creasing within the look as we can clearly see everything came out wonderful the three lip products this actually shocked me because it looks a whole lot darker 
uh, color wise than it did apply on the skin, but formula, fantastic. I actually really like the Christmas cookie formula. I don't know if it was a different formula he used for this. Um, usually it's not, but this applied like super smoothly and super quickly and flawless finish in my opinion. The gloss is everything. I love it. It's so, so nice. So yeah, uh, that's my look. So if you enjoyed this review, if you enjoyed my tutorial and you would like to recreate it, make sure when you take pictures to tag me in it. I still can't get over this. Oh my God, it's so freaking cute. Thank you, Xander, again, um, for telling me about this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I put out weekly videos and hit that notification bell so you know when I put out a new video because if you don't hit it, how else will you know? You won't, so do it. Now, I'm gonna go remove this and go finish watching the MonsterVerse with my mother because she's never seen it. And I'm introducing it to her. All right, until the next time, bye friendships.